So here we have a question from J.E. Mains 2020. So look at here, which is very easy and conceptual. See, if the equilibrium constant for uh, A, which is in equilibrium with B plus C, is having K1 as a constant, and that for uh, B plus C, which is in equilibrium with P, having K2 as a equilibrium constant. Now, what is the equilibrium constant for A, which is in direct equilibrium with P? So in order to answer this, just look here. Whenever we have A is in equilibrium with B, let us understand this and B is in equilibrium with C, okay, and C is in equilibrium with D, okay. So in like this, if they give, okay, and what is the equilibrium constant for A and D, if they ask like this. So just take this as K1 and K2 and K3, they have mentioned like this, three values, and they are asking about this K final. So what is the value of this K final if they ask? So just look here, the reactant in the second reaction is a product in the first reaction, right? So you can cancel out because that is at LHS and RHS, opposite side of this, uh, this equilibrium symbol. Huh? So you can cancel out each other, okay? So now here this C and this C can be getting cancelled. Finally, we are remaining with A and D. So how we got this A and D finally? So just we multiplied these three equations, right? So whenever we are multiplying these three, we are remaining with this final uh, reaction, reactant uh, product, right? So in this case, you just need to multiply the equilibrium constant in order to get this final final a product kf equals to k1 into k2 into k3 okay if they mention for example this is one uh, like two this is as three and this is as two so what is our answer so what is our answer two three is a six uh, again to the 12 so 12 is a final kf value so like this you can answer this kind of questions now i will be expecting answer for this question in the comment box from yourself thank you for watching